Hello, this is Shag, and welcome back to Dust. Dust, the thing that is in my nose and making me sneeze when I want to record. Today's wild plot theories. Dust is directly responsible for the deaths of one or more of Ginger's friends and or family. Fidget is directly, indirectly responsible for at least one case of diabetes. Now then, last time we were in caves, and there were these spikes. And they told us not to jump in the spikes. They don't do that much damage, come on. I mean, ow! Okay, that time was actually on accident. I know you won't believe that, but here's a shop also. I am. That's a good thing, considering I need like a million health items. <laughs> do you do you not have things that I have things of? Here is a finger. Here is some teeth. Here is some skin. But thank you for your business. Probably should have bought healing items first because I didn't actually look at how much expensive they are. Let's see. There is literally no difference between these two options. Hot cocoa is the most powerful food. Uh. <sighs> I hate my nose. But which food is the most economically sound? Not that one. You know, I could probably sell some of this equipment I'm not using. Buy all the pretzels. Your transaction is most appreciated. Whoop. Uh, ah, no, whoop. Trying to remember controls, I guess. Okay. Already using two of those. Okay, now continuing on in a... Uh, okay, this is, might not be actually a continuing on direction. Because there are wacky wind currents. Also, I'm supposed to go down, not to either side. We will see what awaits us in the future of the caves. By which I mean I'm going to keep going. After adjusting my microphone slightly. More of these things that we don't want to be next to. Overall, a very uninviting passageway. Darn it. I need to get that slide. I need it real bad. Here's a sheep. Press up to collect sheep. Wait, did you just... Hmm? Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah. What? <laughs> okay then. Gappy sheep. One of Gappy's lost flock. I guess it wouldn't be dust unless Fidget acknowledged that we just shoved an entire sheep into our inventory. Spikes make them explode. Got it. I have learned something. Now, pres now present me with an unnecessary tutorial repeating this knowledge. If you want to be a real modern video game. I'm going to assume I need to carry it this way. Oh, 
but there is nothing to explode. Unless it's... Ah, dang it. Unless it's way down here. Whoa. That was a risk, I suppose. Okay, maybe it's just an uh, optional thing that I didn't see. Because of the directions in which I went. There is a conspicuous rope here, it does nothing. There is a conspicuous cage there. It does something, but I can't do anything with it right now. God dang it, sliding passageways. I'm going to murder you with my feet once I gain the ability to do so. I promise you that. Hmm. Ooh. For some reason I suddenly became paranoid that I was actually setting it to preview stream instead of record. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, for some reason I have the feeling that this is going to end horribly in some fashion. Well, we are entering the red light district of the underground, I suppose. Press onward. Ah. Onward has been pressed. Hello, slide. Yes, crouch slide acquired. Hooray. I can now access things in practically every area that I have seen so far. Someone be nice and tell me which ones are worth going back to, then. Because it sure as heck ain't gonna be all of them, right? Ah! I totally pressed down, you scoundrel. I guess I chose the wrong path. Was there some other sort of sliding malarkey along the way in this screen? There must have been, because, yeah, there's a dot. Hmm. However... Dot indicates treasure. Therefore, there must be treasure. Right? That's how things work, I believe. Ah, yes. Here we go. Pretzels, yes! Exactly what I needed. Did I get a key out of that chest? I think I did. Spelunker is a fun word, letter. I can agree with you on that, I think. Happiness is a warm pretzel. It looks like you can't really do anything out of a slide. Whoa! Like, you can't do a slide into a jump. For example. Or an attack. Why am I even trying to get to that cage? I don't have enough keys to open it.
Huh. Do I have to... Hmm. Ah, well. I guess I have to go this way anyways. Yeah, I don't know how to get into that. I'm missing something really obvious, probably. I just hope that that cage isn't like Dr. Fetus or something, because we've had enough Meat Boy already in the only cages we've seen so far. Okay, what am I doing? Actually, given that there is a golden idol head next to it, I'm going to hazard a guess that that chest contains the Spelunky guy. That would make complete sense to me, at least. This way is wrong. Is that a cracked wall? Well, you can move these, whatever good that does. For now, no good. Just get on with it, I will. I noticed that the last few rooms actually didn't have any enemies in them. I wonder if I can run through the spikes without having to jump over them. A la Copy Kitty, I guess, would be the only example of that I can think of. It kind of makes sense. But where is the treasure here? Well, that's not a good way to find out. <laughs> Is it up there? Probably. Whatever. Today I choose not to care. Here is the key. Oh wait, no, that's the hidden stick. It looks remarkably like a key. I guess I found the hidden stick. Wait, what? Okay, if they're blue, they heal me. That's a good thing to rem- ah! It's a good thing to remember, Pretzel. <laughs> we need to get up from here, and then go to the left. Ow. I didn't see those. <laughs> Fidget, come back! Fidget is more strongly affected by wind currents than I am, and I didn't notice that until now. Though it makes perfect sense. Hello, village! I can deliver yon hidden stick, and also proceed further. I guess the hidden stick guy is right next to the proceed further section. Oh, my stick! You found her! Now I can get back at that good-for-nothing trolk that done busted up my leg! Whoa, hang on, Blop. You'd better not pick any fights in your, uh, condition. Boy, this is a matter of honor! And revenge! And hitting things with sticks! Tell you what, I'll beat up some trolks for you. Bring me their devilish little fingers! Four of them! No, 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 forty! No! Four hundred! My broken leg demands justice! How about I gather four troll fingers, just for you? Sound good? 
Ah, now that's my boy. I had one, but then I had to experience the economy with it. And now, forward into the unknown. I could have gone up into the unknown, maybe. I don't actually know. Howdy. Howdy, neighbor. Got any fingers for me? Eh? 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 Items removed. Oh, I guess that would be the hidden stick. Just an average day walk. You know, I'm guessing that there are more fidget abilities than just these two. But I also have a hunch that they won't be better than this one. As far as abusability goes. Haha, -ha, that monster. Actually, all of those monsters. Whoa! -ho. I leveled up. I think there was something over there that I couldn't quite reach. Ah, uh, no more fidget yet, alas. Hello, shopkeep. To serve. And you're serving hot dogs. Came in a pack of ten, but sold one at a time. Hmm. Crafty. Huh? <laughs> what? Man, this game. That pendant offends me because ugly people deserve equal rights, I guess. They do. I don't know if it actually offends me or not. Ugly is a state of mind. Oh. Well, I can cheese that. Okay. I'm gonna buy this OP pendant, probably. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. Watch your... ten. That is not a retort. So this is a... Wait, I actually did... I have an ugly pendant. Okay. This is an enormous stat boost. I mean, dang. Also, apparently, luck effects drops. Someone told me that. Yay! Success. How am I to get that key? <laughs> well, I suppose if there were still monsters there, I could... I don't know, abuse physics handily. So, I'll probably just have to re-enter the screen. And then proceed with the usual level of cheese. Cheese and pretzels are actually a pretty good combination. Just saying. Oh? I don't need to care about the lives of you guys. Wait. Wall chicken. Did I destroy a wall? I guess I did. Oops.
Well, if there's wall chicken, there must be a wall, right? Hey guys. Hey. 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 You guys aren't very good at helping me be ridiculous right now. Come on. I need you to work with me. Work with me, not whatever you're doing. Well, dying is, I guess, technically working with me in a different way than I want. Can I just drop down to it? That would be... No. Oh, great. Now if I try to drop down through things, I might accidentally slide. That's good knowledge to have. So I can go up here as well. That looked like it gave me upward momentum for a brief second, but I think I might just be deluding myself. I am not sure. It's not like you need every key. Well, you do if you want everything. There's no items in this room, by the way. No treasures, at least. Or treasure unlocking devices. There is a mess, whatever the heck that is. I. Oof, it hurts. What is it? It doesn't burn! I don't understand. It's outside my area of expertise. Of things that are on fire. I wonder if the slide counts as an attack. Aha! It, it is just there to be a thing that cavalcades at intervals. The slide is an attack! Alright, good to know. Though I figured that one out by accident. I... Hmm. Sure is gross down here. Piles of vague sludge, no. Hey, it's a sheep. I'm going to absorb it into my pocket. I need upward momentum getting power. Ow. I hope I get like a double jump or something. Hello to you. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. It's because you're conveniently along the way at all times. Pretzels. Mm, anything new? Mm, no. Your transact. Thank you. Uh, 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 nope. 
Get out of the way! Generic... Gross... Sludge... Objects... I sure taunted that sludge good. Now that I know I saw that other key through the what through the wall all the way over there. Ah Gronk. So I at least know where the circle is indicating a thing to be. But I wanna keep going left. Should have seen that coming. And so should they. <laughs> okay. Uh, jump. And cliffs and stuff. And yep. That's hilarious still. Why am I voluntarily using the D-pad and I just now noticed it? I guess it makes it easier to pinpoint when I want to slide? Is the thing, is the treasure down there, or is it over here in the path that actually, god dang it. It is down here. Oh. Miner's gear, huh? Can't do that. And now I would have to go back through all of those jumping bits. Oh, hello. I hope you don't mind the systematic destruction of your ecosystem and your lives. It just sort of happens when I pass through. I don't think I can help it. I'm not sure if this is sludge or rocks or sludge rocks of some manner. Now the proper way. It's getting dark too. Good thing I have the light ring, light ring equipped, I suppose. Ah, good. You light the way. I was hoping you might. That's not an explosive. Okay. Oh, I guess, yeah, it would be really obvious if it was. But... Why do I need two? Hmm. Wow, three? I mean, I guess they light the path more? But it's scaring me is what it's doing. Oh no, oh no. No, that one is a traitor. Wait, what's this? Treason. Oh, one of them's still alive. Or actually, they're... Only that one exploded. I thought the chain reaction would have gotten him. Oh god dang it. 
Spikes. <laughs> Taking a wild guess that I'm gonna need those. Or at least one. No. I. Gah. Gah. Rage pretzel. Come to me, bomb fruit. Uh, don't come that close to me, bomb fruit. Uh. Bomb fruit. You suck, bomb fruit. Ah. Maybe I don't need one. Oh, I guess I don't. They're just to see. Kimbap! It's a fun thing to say, and delicious, probably, hopefully. At least for my HP level. Hello, bioluminescent mushrooms. How are you doing? <laughs> There's gotta be something exploding. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna give you guys your proper destruction. Because I kind of accidentally skipped over your demise. I can also light up rooms with that. Apparently. This room is pretty. This game is pretty. Did you notice that yet? I'm sure you did. Ring of the Apprentice. Apprentice of what? Students who wish to excel quickly experience bonus. I see. And I need... Oh, I can purchase the materials straight from this? That's convenient, I suppose. Except I have never seen this thing before. It appears to be a leg of some sort. Huh. Hmm, legs. Interesting. Never seen those. And I've never seen those. And that's terrible. And... I have some sheep that are not relevant. Ring of the Miner. I can get this and get more gold. Now this will be replaced with this. Oh, it also has attack on it. Mining! Everyone dead? Perhaps I hope for too much. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Like things to kill. Yeah. 
He only understands fire when he doesn't understand anything. It's kind of weird. Hey, was that a... Did I pick up a gem to represent more money? Since I have gold drop up? I think that's what that was. Howdy, other side of the screen. How are you? What is going on? I suppose I should go back to the right. You know... Just make sure... Strength salve. I don't think that's very good. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Glad we confirmed that. What is this tone of voice that I'm doing? There is a suspicious ledge. I can't get to it. It's just suspicious because it looks like something you can get to, but you can't! Oh man. This is not hidden. I for one am a little bit surprised. Oh, I don't have any keys. That's the catch. Is there anything over there? I don't think so. I think I understood what was meant by this game is a little too easy on normal That's just sad though. So there is a key in the same room, at least. Oh, hi. Alright. We need to get this thing over there. Yeah. Oh. Well, I see how it is. I'm not quite sure what that will take. Other than enemy surfing by re entering the room. However, this is the important zone, apparently. Whoa! Too far! Not quite! No, 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 dust, dust, dust. Thank you. There we go. Oh, I'm silenced. Now to get that chest. That definitely didn't hit that one guy. So musical. Ring of the Apprentice. What? Really? Is that what you're doing? Giving me that same blueprint again, though. I see how it is. No, I don't. My hat's in the way. Alright, keeper of shop. I am here to. 
you magically grow any inventory items in the last few seconds? You've been known to do that. Ring of the Scavenger. Hmm. Item drop. Um. Item drop. Is there anything in here that I don't have? I don't think he does that. I need my light ring, but maybe I'll buy one of these for later. Your turn. Oh. Now that the dogs are done exploding. I am Dust, and this is Fidget. We came from mud pots seeking the one they call the Lady. Their springs have dried up, and I'm here to find out why. You would dare enter my domain and question me? Yes, the waters have stopped flowing. I was the one to stop them. Because you are corrupted? Be careful, Dust. I do not believe she's used to being spoken to so casually. I meant no disrespect. Uh... I am Lady Tethys, and you will refer to me as such, with the courtesy reserved for all powerful beings of the realm. Okay, Dust, maybe you should dial it back a bit. She's getting pretty ticked off. Hey, Dust Lady barely Tethys, said anything. The mud pots need your help. One of them is already close to death, but your healing waters could save his life. You, a surface dweller, would dare to question my actions. Who do you think you are, ordering me to release the waters of I think I'm the person who's about to have to fight you of any creature, in or not, that would let a boss fight because there's reason. an achievement with your name I in it. I felt the endless conflict as my waters ebb and flow through your land, surface dweller. I see this water satisfying the thirst of a creature much like yourself. A killer with a broken soul. So your plan is to... Like me? So I mean, her plan is to make everyone die of thirst. Across these oh, lands, spilling Gaius. Blood and using my waters to give life to his campaign of hatred. I stopped the water so I could stop the violence. But you are punishing innocents and guilty alike. Your own followers in Mudpot will die without that water. If their deaths are required to save this world, that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. You speak in petty terms. A person, a family, a village. Their deaths, same as yours, are insignificant to the greater good. Well, I sense a terrible danger, Dust. Prepare yourself. I sense an achievement and a boss fight. I have seen where your path ends, Lady Tethys, and I will not let you succumb to the same fate. Too many innocents have died already thanks to Gaius' campaign. So be it, Surface Dweller. Whoa. If you would raise your sword against me, then prepare to have your accursed soul ripped from your body and purged in these holy waters! Jeez. Dial back the echo. In that case... I'll dial down your HP meter if you don't look. Why are you using lightning? You are water. You are water. You are clearly both of them. You know what? And a sword, also. It looks fiery. Stick to the script, lady. You're literally lady. I can actually call you that. Well, hey, at least you actually got to attack me, unlike Fuse. But on the other hand, he stuck to the script of his fight. Poke, poke, poke. 
Dramatic Slash! Look, there's an achievement. What? What have you done? I unlocked an achievement. Now some sense into you, I hope. I can feel the darkness slipping from her soul dust. We have done it. She is now safe. Are you all right, Lady Tethys? What is this darkness Ara speaks of? I saw what your general was doing. I could feel the souls of all the innocents he killed screaming for help. And I, I succumbed to that darkness, that desire for justice, no matter the cost. Uh, justice must be tempered with mercy, Lady Tethys. Otherwise, it is nothing more than revenge. So she's not dead, right? I must apologize, Dust. I see now that you wield one of the blades of Elysium. Had I noticed before, I would have treated you with more respect. I have no idea what that means. Blades of Elysium? I will explain later. I will explain later how I'm going to betray you and conquer the world. I know you feel like you are doing the right thing by holding back the waters, but Mudpot needs them now more than ever. Otherwise, they'll just be like pots. They won't have water to make mud. Indeed, though your motives were noble, no one wants to live in a village called Pot. Or like, actually, if the mud dried out and it wasn't mud anymore, the mud would probably crack and their village would be crack pot. Then we gotta hurry. Ginger was on our way there too. Before you go, perhaps I can repay you for freeing me of my madness. At the base of the northern mountains, there is a grand estate. The baron of these lands is a man named Cain. He knew your general, and if you help him, he will be willing to assist you in your quest to end Gaius's campaign. And how do you know all that? Because I am attuned to the life thread, my dear. I can sense all life through the waters I send to the surface. Now, more than ever, I can feel the despair that all surface dwellers feel because of your general's hatred. He is not my general. Perhaps not now, but I can see you were once very close to this general Gaius. You can see into my past? Your soul is fragmented, like a shattered mirror. I can only see reflections in the broken pieces, and what I see makes little sense. Even to me. I see that you like playing Super Mario Sunshine. There are forces at work within you, Dust. How a little creature could carry such a shattered soul is beyond my understanding. However, that doesn't matter now. She's right, Dust. If we're going to speak to this Baron guy, we need to get moving. Apologies, Lady Tethys, but we must make haste. There is a villager in Mudpot who is very close to death. I can feel it now. His life force is very weak. How could I let this happen? What? What have I done? Well, technically what if you did was nothing. Waste, is there a shortcut back to Mudpot? Yes, of course. Right through here. Though I fear you may already be too late. Hey, there's a rabbit statue in the back. We'll get there in time. Just you wait and see. I hope so, Fidget. Goodbye, Lady Tethys. Do I get Fidget Goodbye, water power? Us. And good luck. Or lightning power, considering. You've sorted things out with Lady Tethys, it says. Nothing in the bottom of the arena. <laughs> oh. I guess I do. That looks lightning-y, if I can even tell what that is. Fidget has a new projectile type. Whoa! That doesn't look as broken as the fire, but I guess we'll find out. Hmm? Does this just go back to Tethys? Yes, it does. I'm not sure when that will be a thing that needs to be used, but, alright, fair enough. Oh, this is an entrance I could not previously access. Hey look, sunlight! 
do that. A final parting gift from Lady Tethys, it would seem. That'll help when we need to return to the surface. But right now, we should find Bopo. Lady Tethys seems convinced we would arrive too late. God dang it, Tethys. Time. We have to. We did everything we were supposed to. I thought you were going to be you a water type. To learn about the world, Fidget. Sometimes even your best is not enough to avert fate. Come, let us make haste to the village. But instead, she's like every element. Uh, the village is. Uh... No. Wait. Where? This is the village. You're trying to confuse me. What did you need, Moss? Well, I didn't get any of that. Maybe that's what the glowy red stuff was, and I just forgot how to gather. That seems probable. That's the basement that I don't need to go to. Here's Smobop. And here's Plot. Dust, look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh look, here she comes now! Mama, look, they're here! I told you they'd get the water running again! But he died, right? Darling, please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? Yeah. He held on as long as it could, but it just went enough. Corgis ah. and vacuums in the oh, background. No! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! Ruining this dramatic I'm moment. Sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. You were such a fighter. It was... it was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But... we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Whoa. Dust, you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water run a days ago, but I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Did you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. Well... Understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass. Oh, don't there you start this fate you nonsense. I make my own that destiny. Excuse this aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before. Would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. That's what you think. And it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? Arguing with what the sword. What you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? What am I fighting stop for? Me. Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were! I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy! Because you're dust now! Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, 
And that is all that matters. Teacher not read yet written. You're both right. Yeah, he just said something I about so fate. much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. Is it late? I thought we just saw sunset. A night's rest. I mean sunlight. Your head. <sighs> Never free rest in an inn without a cutscene, though. Oh, this is a graveyard. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. Though I wouldn't know, since he didn't so get too. any character development. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Because he was Thank you, basically Dust. dead. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back Trying to the surface to, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. Downgrade the tragedy here too much. You'll come but, back, uh, though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I, I can't. Mm. I promise. I can't. I promise. You got a quest? Or is that just a quest that I had with you? Are that you I okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem you real. You can collect eight I gone and I wish... toenails. What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much! Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? I can store sheep in my him, pockets. Fidget. This is we'll easy. Find a way. Oh, good. I was expecting the game to give it a cheesy title and downplay the tragedy. Instead of me having to do that. Wasn't really intending to, but seriously. We didn't really know these characters for that long. Oh, hey, a sheep. How many sheep do I have? Four. Other two are on the right outskirts of the village where I was getting here. Did I even notice the graveyard on my way in? Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sar- I think the broadcast window has been hiding in this for a little while. Arwen Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. You sure feel oh, a lot of nefarious. Great. Really? I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Surface ho! Well, I mean, I guess there's treasure I could look for, but surface ho! Dang it. Let's get on up and then get on out. Whoa, Nelly! That's interesting. I need multiple targets. Let's see how it fares on them. A sheep? No! Ah, ah. <laughs> I was so astounded by the presence of the sheep that I felt... Did he say he was missing eight? Yeah, he did, I think. Just 
Jeez, fidget. That's more impressive as a solo fidget thing. Dang. Fidget is so OP. What's this way? A cutscene. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General. But his actions are... curious. He's being... Curious. Lawful How good! So? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. I guess I should have guessed that his name was... When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. Well, you see, I fell down a giant plot hole, and I broke my soul at the bottom, and that left some room for some heart to grow. Something like that, you know? So that happened. Mm hmm You're gonna have to take my word for that, I guess. Uh, we never went there. Got all these dang places to go. God. Just gonna save in the village, I guess. Howdy. Cassius, A. Eh? Is there anything down here? Oh, that's where the save point is. Convenient. Alright, this has been Shag, this has been Dust. Next time, The Adventures of Cassius. I mean Dust. Those names are about as far apart as in terms of names as you could get. Maybe not. Should have expected Cassius, I mean Gaius. I mean, I took Latin class once, several times, in high school. Gaius was actually my quote-unquote Latin name. What a twist.